few problems they will give you directly revenue from operation is 2.5k this is your working out one revenue from operation easy to calculate depreciation in this problem they have not given we should only calculate i go back to question in question you have bad debts bad debts comes under what other expense Hello everyone, welcome back for the accountancy class. I am your other sir, lecturing Vidyashram PU College, the temple of excellence. So we are in the third session of topic called financial statement of a company. Under financial statement of a company, the concept meaning the objective, everything we discussed in your previous sessions now we'll go with one problem on profit and loss statement as per companies act 2013 before we go to problem we'll understand the format already we did two problems on profit and loss account we'll revise once and we'll go to problem now what is your format yes particular amount amount and a particular we write all the wordings no, second column will be note and the last column will be called as amount particular note amount now what is the first one yes the first one is revenue from operation revenue from operation First one is what? Revenue from operation. What is the other name for revenue from operation? Yes, the other name for revenue for operation is called sales. Remember this. In some question paper, they will give you as sales. Sales and revenue from operation both are same. Now, they have not given sales directly. They have given like this. Cash sales. 1 lakh credit sales 2 lakh now what is the revenue from operation from this problem yes the revenue from operation is 2 plus 1 is 3 lakh cash sales as well as credit sales both we should add then only you will get total revenue from operation few problems they will give you directly few problems they will give you like this out of this one more adjustment they will give you like cash sales given credit sales given they have given one more adjustment called sales return so whatever sales happen customer return the goods it may be 50,000 now what is the calculation yes now the what is the total sales 3 lakh how much sales returned 50,000 now 3 lakh minus 50,000 your answer is 2 lakh 50,000 so this is your revenue from operation clear yes few problems they will give you directly revenue from operation is 2.5k RLs they will give you like the sales is 2.5k both are same sales and revenue from operation both are equal now few problems they will give you adjustments like this how they will give you cash sales credit sales and sales return cash sales and credit sales we should add from that sales return we have to subtract or minus so what is your final answer Yes, your final answer is 2.5k is revenue from operation. Clear? Yes. After that, other income. If we have any other income, we should add. We will get total revenue. Process 1. Process 1, RLs we can call it as step 1. 
what is the next procedure yes the next procedure is expenses what kind of expenses you will get yes the first one is cost of material consumed cost of material consumed we get after that after cost of material consumed in this purchases after that finance cost after this employees benefit expenses then depreciation these are the expenses you have you have to write all the expenses then final total you have to consider here clear these are the expenses now we got total revenue we got total expenses so this we call it as step 2 our process 2 your 90% of the problem done what is the final stage very simple from the total revenue minus total expenditure you will get what you will get profit before taxation you will get profit before taxation from this if you minus tax you will get the final answer profit after tax this is all about your profit and loss statement format hope you understood we already done two problems on that again i am revising why because this is very important easily you can score six marks how if you work out this again and again it will be familiar to you so easy to write there won't be any confusion if you revise this again and again we'll go for one problem from the following information prepare statement of profit and loss for the year 31st march 2020 as per schedule 3 of company act 2013 what was the old company act yes the company act was 1956 now we are following the company act called 2013 now in this you have cash sales credit sales sales return what to do with this this is what this is nothing but revenue from operation this is only a revenue from operation how to get revenue from operation simple working note one working note one first one is what cash sales cash sales two lakh how much is your cash sales two lakh for cash sales what you should do you should go with credit sales how much they have given credit sales three lakh now total is how much total sales five lakh total sales five lakh from this you should minus what sales return you should minus sales return how much they have given 20,000 5 lakh minus 20,000 you will get 4 lakh 80,000 this is revenue from operation understood this is your working out one revenue from operation easy to calculate we calculated we got revenue from operation 4 lakh 80,000 now we go to answer statement of profit and loss account the format word is not required the name of the company you can mention for example they have not given name of the company you can call it as xyz whatever the name is given we should mention now revenue from operation i have done working note one what answer i got i got four lakh eighty thousand so take four lakh eighty thousand 
any doubt in this no nice other income other income in the question they have not given other income means what you may get some interest income you may get some commission income they will not give you in detail they will give you directly other income is 10000 other income is 50000 they will give you directly in this problem other income not given so other income how much we should write other income is zero total revenue total revenue is 4 lakh 80 thousand your first step is done now expenses what is the first one cost of material consumed cost of material consumed how much they have given they have given 3 lakh so cost of material consumed right 3 lakh now this is also done purchase of stock or purchase of goods there is no purchase of goods they have not given so it should it will be what yes purchase of stock is nil employee benefit expenses what do you mean by employee benefit expenses yes if you give salary to employees bonus to employees any benefits to employees we call it as employee benefit expenses provident fund pension all comes under employee benefit expenses in this problem we don't have employee benefit expenses so we should write what employee benefit expenses nil every problem if it is there or not you should write everything clear yes next one is what financial cost what do you mean by financial cost like interest paid interest on debentures interest on loans comes under financial expenses in the question they have not given financial expenses so it should be what zero nil financial cost is nil what is the next one depreciation and amortization depreciation means what decrease in the value of the asset We'll go back to your question, whether they have given or not, we'll check. Depreciation amount they have not given, we should only calculate. How to calculate? See, depreciate building and machinery by 10% each. So, in the previous problem, the depreciation value only given, but in this, the value is not given. They have given value of the asset. If the value of the asset given, just you have to calculate percentage. Now, building is how much? 2 lakh. Machinery is how much? 1 lakh 50. We'll do working note and we'll write the solution. Working note. For what? Depreciation working note for depreciation the working note number it is 2 now first one is building what is the value building value 2 lakh and machinery value 1 lakh 50 thousand building what is the percentage 10 percent Answer is 20,000. After that, what is the next one? Machinery. What is the value? 1,50,000 multiplied with 10%. Your answer is 15,000. What is the total depreciation? Total depreciation, 35,000. Like this, you have to calculate i'll revise this once again depreciation in this problem they have not given we should only calculate for helping us they have given the value of the building value of the machinery now building value is 2 lakh machinery value 1 lakh 50 how you got 2 lakh and 1 lakh 50 in the question they have given 2 lakh and 1 lakh 50 what is the percentage of depreciation 10 percent 
on both we calculated 10% total of these two is 35,000 now your depreciation and amortization note number 2 35,000 up to this any doubt hope no doubts now what is the next one other expenses I am going very slow so that you should understand now other expenses what do you mean by other expenses as I told you all remaining expenses we call it as other expenses like fuel expenses audit fees electricity expenses water expenses insurance all bad debts all comes under other expenses now I go back to question in question you have bad debts bad debts comes under what other expenses the remaining expenses comes under other expenses how much budgets you have 5000 now other expenses 5000 now your all expenses are done now total expenses what is your total expenses 3 lakh plus 35 335 plus 5000 40 3 lakh 40000 your second part is done first stage we completed second stage also completed what is the next stage yes profit before tax how to calculate profit before tax simple this is your part a and this is your part b a minus b is your answer a is how much four lakh eighty thousand B is how much? 3,40,000. So what is the answer? 4,80 minus 3,40. Your final answer is 1,40,000. So this we call it as profit before tax. Why? Because we have done all the calculation but tax we have not yet deducted. We will minus tax you will get final answer. How to calculate tax? 4 lakh 80 minus 3 lakh 40, you got 1 lakh 40. But what is the tax percentage? 30 percent. Again, we'll go to working note. Working note 3. For what purpose? Tax purpose. Now, how to calculate? Simple calculation. Your profit is how much? 1 lakh 40. What is the tax rate? Tax rate they have given 30 percent. Now 1 lakh 40 thousand multiplied by 30 divided by 100. You will get 42 thousand. 42 thousand is your tax. 1 lakh 40 multiplied by 30 by 100. Your tax is how much? 42. We will go back to your answer. So your tax rate is 42,000. What is your final answer? Your final answer is 98,000. This is called profit for the year. Your complete six marks question we completed. For explanation I took much time but while doing problem hardly you will take five to six minutes. For writing format it may take time but calculation easy. If you are using calculator means easily you can calculate everything. Clear? Yes. This is all about your 6 marks profit and loss account. So we completed profit and loss account problems with all kinds of adjustments. In the next session we will go for one more p &L account and we will understand the balance sheet. The next stage of this chapter. Thank you.